Hello and welcome to this live stream preview event. Um, welcome, welcome to those who are just joining. We have a couple of minutes before we're going to start, so please say hello in the chat box. Um, we're going to be a relatively small group, so please feel free to use the chat box. I will try to monitor it as best I can. Um, but yeah, I want to make sure it's even working. So somebody say hello, please. <laughs> How you doing? Welcome. Hold on. Let's see. Attendees. Hey, Anne. How are you? Connie. I'm seeing some famous faces. Hi, Kay. Good to see you. Hey, Dallas. Good to see you, Karen. Um, yeah, so just uh, checking in. Say hello in the chat box. Tell me where you're joining from. We'll just wait another minute um, before we begin this live stream preview of the James Damiani estate sale. Um, like I said, we're going to be a relatively small group, so definitely use the chat box. I will try to monitor it as best I can. I did pop some links in the chat box right now. You can go and copy and paste them now um before we begin um hi jane good to see you um yeah you can just go and copy and paste them now and save them if you want otherwise you know where to find me so why don't we get started it's um just the top of the hour now um if you don't know who i am i am darren scala and i am the owner i'm a mint of d thomas miniatures i'm also a maker i don't tell too many people too many people that i make because i don't know I'm, I'm really i'm a hobbyist so uh but most most mostly what i do is i promote miniatures as much as i can uh my my goal ultimately is to have uh folks see miniatures um the way i see them and the way maybe some of you see them um so yeah so definitely um marcel you can't see the link does anybody see the links is anybody missing those links they should be in the top of the box um Hold on, let's see. Ah, there they are. Thanks, Marcella. There they are. So check them out. I'm glad you caught that. Um, so yeah, I'm a promoter of miniatures. I, I promote them every chance I get, uh, but I also sell miniatures. I am an estate seller, reseller, and I work with folks from all over the country to find happy new homes for their miniature treasures. Um, sometimes they are their own collections, whether they are downsizing, in the case of James Damiani, or they are um, selling on behalf of their families who are looking to find happy homes for miniature treasures. So that's what I do. Um, I also promote, like I said. So I have a couple of things coming up if you're interested. Uh, I have a Meet the Miniaturist, which is where I introduce artists and folks in the miniatures world. Uh, and I do live stream events. I have one coming up on this Saturday on, at 11 a.m. Eastern time. I will have... Uh, the show promoter of the London Dolls House Festival on, as well as several miniaturists who will be showing at that show, which is happening in May. Uh, so this will be a preview to that show. Uh, this is a, a, a way of encouraging you to check out that show, look into it, maybe even attend it. Um, so, yeah. So if you're just joining, say hello in the chat box. Um, just going through some housekeeping stuff. That link is actually there if you want to register to join the Saturday Meet the Miniaturist. Uh, also, stay tuned. I launched a new program. Hey, Connie. I launched a new program called Miniversity, and that is an opportunity to offer courses in miniatures um, in various disciplines, whether it's, you know, uh, how to's, uh, special classes, lectures, panel discussions. I just held one last week ish on um, how to spot a really good miniature. I don't know if any of you were there. Stay tuned. Um, you know, wave the chat box if you were, if you attended. Um, but I have another one coming up. Um, you can might want to write this down. Um, and also, I don't think I put the link in yet because we don't have the links yet. This is scheduled for um, March 17th. This is a special miniversity panel discussion. Uh, I'll, have, I'll have several miniaturists on to talk about the concept of storytelling in miniatures. And so a number of uh, artists will be on to talk about how they incorporate stories in their miniatures, how they use storytelling to encourage people to see uh, miniatures in, in new and different ways. And then finally, uh, I, I'm going to just preview two things. There's a, I'm going to be doing a special live on-site uh, presentation at the Hudson River Museum on Mother's Day. I don't have the date in front of me, but it's Mother's Day. 
and I will be uh, talking about Nibblewick Hall, which is a fantastical 24 room miniature mansion in their permanent collection. So I'll be presenting that that day. So details to follow if you follow me. Um, but let's get right to it because we're going to talk about the James Damiani collection, uh, which is uh, an estate sale that's coming up. It's starting this Thursday on my eBay selling site. So I put the links there. Um, and stay around if you are looking for some tips and tricks on how to navigate an eBay, eBay sale. I don't know how, how familiar you all are with that, um, but you, you might want to stay around because I'm just going to talk a little bit about um, how to navigate uh, an auction on eBay and, and maybe address any questions you might have on, on how to actually um, buy on eBay. Uh, so let's talk about James Damiani a little bit before I get into the show and tell. Uh, James is a New England collector. He's an artist. Uh, so you're still not seeing the... Is anybody seeing the links in the chat? Does anybody see them? Um, still don't see the links. It's so weird. I'm seeing them. Me... Oh, that's why. I got... It's not going to everybody. That's why. Hold on a second. Panel good job with attending chat with everyone. I want to see me. Where's me? Because I need to. Um, I need to share it with everyone, and it's not sharing, and I don't know why. Hmm. Oh. Let's see. Host to panelist. Host to panelist. Host to everyone. Damn. All right, I'm fixing that. Thank you again for highlighting that. There are the links. <laughs> you should be able to see them they're going, they're going to everyone. I don't know why I always do that. Um, awesome. Okay. So James is a New England-based uh, collector, artist, maker, looking to downsize his collection. He's got more of, a, of a, a, uh, an eye towards sort of the period style, Georgian style, classic miniatures, uh, very well-crafted artisans from the 90s and maybe to the 2000s. A lot of hardwood furniture, sterling silver, uh, porcelain. I'm going to share some of of the pieces here. I'm going to I'm going to switch over in a second and get closer to the to the room box and closer to some of the pieces in a second so that you can actually see them. Um, but uh, yeah, so this sale is starting on Thursday. On my eBay site, again, the links are there. And if you're just joining, say hello in the chat box. Before I switch over to my iPhone, which is going to get a closer look at um, at the miniatures in a moment. I just want to tell another story about James. Um, he's quite a character. Um, back when he, in the early 2000s, he uh, made a room box. He was coming out of a difficult time due to some health issues. And he was written up actually in the Dollhouse Miniature Magazine from May of 2009. And uh, he started making room boxes to keep his health on track. And uh, and so he made a room box and he decided to um, do something kitschy with it and put some photographs in the room box of Queen, of, of um, the Queen. <laughs> um, and he sent her a note and the Queen's lady in waiting wrote him back saying that the queen was um that it was kind of him to let her see the room box and we're very pleased to hear that after he had some health issues that miniatures helped him regain use of his hands and so his claim to fame is pretty this is pretty awesome that he actually got um uh, the queen to look at his miniatures and got a reaction from her so it but ultimately it really is his eye for miniatures which is why we're here and and um, this opportunity to see some of his miniatures and ultimately um, find new homes for these absolute treasures. Um, there are some awesome artists represented in this sale, including, um, uh, and I'm, I'm gonna blank out on a lot of the names, um, Alan Barnes from Tarbena, Pita Cuisto Igma Fellow, Sterling Silver, uh, uh, painting. Uh, there's a painting in there by Ed Scholl. And you guys, some of you on the line right now is going to know better than me. So correct me if I say something wrong. And I think interestingly, there are some vintage antique paintings in miniature from like the 1800s, we think, that are included in this sale. So why don't we, what I'm going to do first is I want to lower I want to lower my, uh, I want to blur out my background first because I'm going to move over to my iPhone and I don't want this to be a distraction. So 
why don't we i'm gonna so don't touch that dial technology will uh hopefully will bear with me all right hang in there it is oh you guys thank you for <laughs> bearing with me on this um all right good you can see both now well well can, you know it is you you guys can adjust to enlarge this view of um of what you're seeing here if you're only seeing a very, very small part so with that let's let's go through this awesome and i'm going to try to be as unshaky as possible as i mentioned this is housed in a beautiful cabinet um and uh and we'll start with the box itself the room box itself is actually part of the sale and the it will be empty of course but um there are there are i'll just point out some of the features of this room box which was made by dollhouses by liz uh and so there are hardwood floors there is a non-opening sort of a faux doll a doll uh not a dog a door with all this beautiful plaster work and then there's this gorgeous wallpaper, which is fabric. It is textured, it is gorgeous, it is fabric. Um, this is, the fireplace is just gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I don't know if it's a soup cook, but um, it is a beautiful fireplace. And then I think the real significant highlight of this room box is really gonna be the freaking dramatic ceilings. Look at that, look at that ceiling. The ceiling is, uh, the ceiling is beautiful. I mean, it's just got so many layers to it. And believe it or not, this, I don't know what the ceilings are actually made of. I believe it's wood, but most of the box itself within this hardwood vintage style chinoisee, I think, uh, cabinet, which is all lacquered and hardwood. This room box is actually uh, a combination of foam core and matte board with additional strip woods, hardwood strip wood for sort of uh, substance and, you know, to really uh, make it much stronger uh, for, for the matte board and for the, um, uh, the, the foam core. So, and then of course there's this beautiful chandelier, which uh, it's my understanding that this is a Brooke Tucker chandelier um but it does have this beautiful crystal apparently it's it's crystal uh venetian glass <laughs> it is a beautiful piece i don't know if you guys there's no chats happening so just somebody say that you're still hearing me <laughs> please in the chat box because i'm not really able to see the chat oh good thanks Anne. all right um all right so let's get to some of the pieces um Let's start with some of the bigger furniture pieces. Most of the furniture pieces are made by uh, uh, Alan Barnes from Tarbena in the UK, including this beautiful cabinet with the drawers in the center, this unbelievably gorgeous uh, uh, nine drawer desk with a leather top. And then it has this gorgeous uh, uh, metallic-y, uh, uh, I don't know what you call the edging, but it's beautiful. Um, and the tables back there, there's a there's a uh, there's a pair of these beautiful hand painted uh, tables. They're matching tables, which is kind of rare to find. I'm actually offering those two together because I think it's rare to find two matching pieces, substantial pieces like that, available at one time. And so I'm offering them as a pair. And, and they can be used any way you want, but I just love the symmetry of how uh, James put this all together. By the way, I kept this room box almost exactly as I found it when I picked it up from James um, uh, on the Cape. So, you know, because I just thought he did such a beautiful job. I mean, I don't think there's anything I would change um, about this. So I didn't make many changes and I kept it pretty much as is. And uh, so let's continue the little tour. This is probably, I mean, they're all stunning pieces, but see this long uh, credenza, if you will? It's beautiful. It's a Mark Booch piece. And I don't know if you could see, but it's got really, really intricate carved ribbon throughout the, the edges. And then it has two drawers that are very, very long. And so lots of stuff can fit 
in those drawers, if, you, if, you're using, if you're using it as a dining piece, you can fill it with tons of stuff. Another Tarbena piece is this bookshelf, which also has those lovely little hand-painted elements to it. And then this, which is also rare. I mean, we don't find Michael Walton stuff very often, but um, this fretwork, I think it's called fretwork. Um, so you have all the detailed wood carved pieces, and then you have that little drawer. So it's a beautiful little um, three shelf credenza, if you will. So then, okay, so that's pretty much most of the furniture, the big pieces of furniture. But then when we break it down and look at some of the accessories, okay, um, let's look at the paintings. That is an Ed Choi. It is after Vermeer. It is stunning. It is a stunning piece. And then there's this David Williams, which is just a, it's just so um, moody. It's called, I think it's called the River Thames or the Thames, Mist on the Thames, I think it's called. Beautiful piece. And then there are these, which are some of my favorites, are these etchings. There's one there, and then there's one there in the corner there. They're by, I believe, John, oh, killing me on the name, killing me on the names. I was going to print all this stuff out before I started, but I didn't. Then I wanted to get to these sort of these vintage antique portraits. There's this one. I think they're all French. There's this one. And then there's a pair in the back and of a couple. And then the, finally, this piece, which is delicious. It's an architectural um, painting. And then I don't know if you can see, but there's an extra layer of gold paint that is embellishing some of the elements like the posts in this composition that just makes it beautiful beautiful some of these are not marked i they they're, they're not marked with the artist's name um and then there's the one in the middle which is actually um purported to be napoleon's son who became king of rome we think this was made in the 1800s uh it isn't signed, um, but it does have it does have paper backing, Italian printed newspaper on the back. So somebody could read Italian and you buy this, you could probably learn more. And then this one actually does have a signature on it. Um, so before I go through some of the little accessories, does anybody have any questions? Cause I do, I can see the chat box, which is good. Um, or if you wanna see something again, all right. Let's go through some of the accessories. Um, this is an Alice Zinn uh, Border Collie. There's a lot of fantasy fantasy pieces in here, including all of this, this uh, wonderful um, uh, walking stick. Uh, I don't know, what do you call these? What do you call these things that hold the walking sticks? <laughs> I am blanking on it so much. But look at the, some of the detail. Look at that, like it's a light switch, which I love. By the way, this whole light box is wired with tape wire. And the box itself, empty, does arrive with uh, the chandelier. So this is all gonna be posted on Thursday. And I'll, I'll, if you wanna stay around for how the sale is gonna be set up, it's gonna be a mix of buy now and auction. So, um, you know, so some of the items are gonna go right away. I think if you really like something, hang around and, and, uh, and, and be there at seven o'clock on uh, Thursday. Let's go through some of the accessories. Love, love, love all this Louis Vuitton stuff. And then there's tons of this beautiful hardwood boxes filled with loveliness, including this. There's a lot of Tarbana pieces here. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. Uh, I'm gonna hold that, hold that. Let's do this. I just, I love anything in a box, but that's Tarbana pistol set do this gently. Um, there's this camera, which is not focusing. There's a wonderful tea caddy uh, set also by Tar Tarbena. No, not Tarbena. Uh, Taller Targione. Sorry, I've been saying Tarbena. These are all Taller Targione pieces. This one, this one, that's an fantasy fantasy. There's also some Lauren Delaney pieces, charmingly enough. I don't know if you're familiar with her work. Love her stuff. She did a lot of the books and there are there's a lot in this sale, which includes um, this butterfly um, specimen box and several uh, sort of uh, bird books that, that talk about birds. So look for that. 
Um, there's a couple, there's uh, the Pita Cuisto silver. Let's talk about that. So there's um, several pieces of silver, some traditional pieces like, you know, the gravy boat and trays with footed trays. Um, but I think one of the more rare pieces is going to be this Ken Palmer. I don't know why it's not focusing. Um, this beautiful, um, sorry if it's shaking. <laughs> um, <laughs> trying to do this with one hand. Um, there's this beautiful, I don't know if I've ever even seen this. Uh, it's a combination of stoneware and sterling silver. It's beautiful. This piece is gorgeous. Um, and so that's part of the sale. And then there's also um, a working clock back there. We think it's by Holes Clocks. We don't, I mean, we don't think, uh, you know, James didn't have a lot of information, uh, but we tried to decipher what we could, um, but we think that's from Hell. Paul's clocks, and then there's Christopher Whitford uh, pottery, and then also orchids. Um, and, oh, and then I just want to show you this sampler, which is also by Toller Targione, um, which I love. And I, I gonna think I'm gonna think this is a collaboration because I don't think Toller did samplers. So I'm, I'm gonna assume that another artist helped with the. Uh, with the sampler and Toller did the wood. I don't know if somebody knows more about how Toller works, um, but I don't know if they're that able to do that much, <laughs> that kind of work, woodwork and needlework. Anyway, I will end off end off with two things. Oh, actually, let me show you this chair. It's also by Alan Barnes. Look at the lines on this chair. Just, uh, I don't, there's a name for this kind of chair. Look at the, look how beautiful this is. Look at the lines on this chair. And then look at the extra detail, that that rivet. Oh God, just, it's just awesome. Um, I will end off with this piece, which uh, it is Nick Nichols, that's who it is. Um, I think this is much more of a rare piece because you don't find all his stuff a lot, but look at the beautiful, uh, sewing accessories. It's like a sewing, um, I don't know what you call it, but it's a sewing uh, ox, if you will, on a pedestal. It's gorgeous. And let's not forget, there's that awesome little <laughs> dog's collar in the corner there. So um, I think I'm going to just say, I'm going to wrap up with um, just with a wide shot so that you can just take this all in. Maybe I will also See if I could turn the light up a little more. No, that's it. The light is up all the way. I'm going to lower the light because it looks good. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> the two lamps. Um, There's a couple of Jim, Jim Pounder lamps in here. Um, There's one there, and then there's one in the corner there, which you can't see. The These lamps are from Luminations by Mr. K, and I don't know if the back lamps are from Luminations as well. Um, so yeah, there are one, two, three, four, four lamps, and then there are these beautiful Jim Pounder pieces, which I feel like every collection needs to have a Jim Pounder lamp. I, I just, that is just the thing that like, just, you know, yeah, it just completes it. And back there is Stokes they wear, uh, those vases. But we also look at the, um, look at the, uh, oh, candelabras also by, um, Peter Cuisto. And there's beautiful fireplace accessories back there. It's just crazy. All right, I am going to, is the chair, Kism, I don't think it's called Kiss, Kil, Klismos. There's another name for it. It's in, it's will, it will be, uh, it will be included in, um, uh, it will be included when I post the, um, the listings, it will be what it, it'll say what everything is because I, I do I do have it, just can't remember what it is right now. Um, so let me, uh, yeah, there's a name for it. There is a name for it. So let me, uh, yeah. So the back of I don't the statue in the back there. There's a metal statue. There's an obelisk uh, in the back, and I'm not sure who made them actually. The statue in the back. I don't know. I don't know. Any other questions, guys? Um, I don't know. If you guys, do, do, let me ask you this: um, If there are no questions, 
uh, all relating to any of the pieces that you just saw. Is there anybody who wants a, a little information on the on how to shop an eBay sale? Anybody want to stay around for that? Thanks, Karen. Awesome. So beautiful. Okay, so let me. Um, so the the sale is going to start on Thursday uh, at seven o'clock, and there will be. There's probably a fifth, about 50 lot. And thank you if you guys um, are, are going to leave. But if you want to stay, stay. I'd love to have you. Um, but there are about 50 lots in this sale. And in that includes the, the actual 7 p.m. Eastern time, correct? Uh, that includes the room box, the empty room box uh, in within the the Asian inspired credenza. And you could, you'll see more pictures of that when you see the posts, when you see the lots as they've been posted. Uh, so seven o'clock and be, and 50 lots, I usually stagger them about a minute each between each lot so that you have the opportunity to bid and potentially win one lot and then move to the next one that you like. Let's say it's another lot and it's one minute later, you'll have a chance to go and bid and win that lot as well. So within the, the one hour, there'll be probably spaced, 50 lots will be spaced about a minute apart. This will be a combination of buy now with a preset price uh, for several items. And then there will be traditional auctions for for the rest of the items that that sale will last about, that will be about 10, that will be a 10 day sale ending on Sunday, uh, March, 10 days from March 2nd. No, 10, I just, wait, hold on. I can't think it's getting late for me, but the sale starts on Thursday. 10 days later, the auction will end Sunday at 7 p.m. within that 7 p.m. hour. I hope that makes sense. Uh, what else? So uh, if you, uh, you know, if, if you've never been uh, shopped on an eBay, I would go ahead and set up an account. Uh, and, and what I would do is do a little bit of homework beforehand and check out my preview, which uh, which in the, there in the links there is a preview in the links you could preview uh most of the items not everything but you can preview most of them so at least you have a feel for what you might want to uh bid on and then when the sale starts i you know i have a feeling uh, i have a feeling i can't i mean i don't know for sure but i think the buy now stuff is going to go pretty quickly so so you want to be ready for it but maybe not i don't know uh so check through all the listings get a feel for what you what it is you want and be ready to to purchase on on thursday uh and then the auction items you know just get ready to, to ride it out for 10 days uh, what i would recommend you do if you really really like something click on the watch button you want to uh click that watch it's called it, it's it's you're putting it on your watch list basically you're clicking that little heart if you like something and ebay will continue to remind you uh, when that when that lot will close so that you have an opportunity to go in and bid on it. Uh, so click on that that watch list. Uh, oh, by the way, Sunday, March 10th is when the 10 day auction will end. I did write it down. <laughs> uh, so so click on that watch list if you like. Just also note that I if there are uh, if there are multiple items that you purchase and win, I do combine shipping so you can save on shipping costs. And I also do all of the packing and shipping myself. I, I like to be the, the very last person to see that item go to the post office. Um, I don't love these auction houses that that send all those items to UPS and have UPS. I, it just I don't know what your guys experience has been, but oof. so uh, so I like to pack everything myself. Marcella saying, will most of the items be running for the 10 days? I would say, and I have not posted these yet, so I haven't made any final decisions, but I would think it's going to be a little bit of a mix, maybe 50-50, uh, or maybe more items, maybe 60-40, 60% of them will be uh, on a 10-day auction uh, I, uh, system, and then maybe 40% of them will be buy nows. Uh, so... Yeah, so, but like I said, I'm still putting the sale together right now and I haven't posted everything yet. And, you know, uh, selling and pricing is an art, not a science. And I might decide at the last minute, you know, to do something different. So I'm not committed to anything right now. You know, I mean, I would just recommend going and checking it out tomorrow at seven. 
how do you decide what's an auction item and what's a buy now? I think um, it, it's a, all about the value of something and not missing the value, the inherent absolute value of something and not risking something not selling for what I think it deserves. That's really what what drives that de that decision. Um, you know, uh, yeah, sometimes, uh, yeah, that's that's it. Does that make sense? Like that, um, that stone and silver, that stoneware piece with the silver top, uh, you know, I think I'm going to set a price on that, that I really, really would like that it deserves. And I think that's, that's something that I will, you know, put as a buy now. Does that make sense? I don't know. Um, so yeah, so that, um, that is going to wrap it up for this preview of the James Damiani estate sale. Look guys, you, you could find me. I'm very accessible. You can email me if you have any questions after this till Thursday, even after the sale starts and it's in auction, send me emails. If you have questions, you could ask questions on eBay. Um, so continue to do that. And with that, I would say thank you for joining this live stream. I'm really appreciative that you were here and able to stop in and see these lovely treasures and have a great rest of your week. All right, guys, take care. Bye.